What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have the June 2023 Albuquerque Sunport International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today we have a very exciting Albuquerque update in store for you guys. Today is the sixth year anniversary of Albuquerque updates, which is absolutely incredible. We have some major aircraft changes, some new routes ahead, and all kinds of fun items to dive into in today's video to celebrate such. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. This is the sixth anniversary, like I said, the sixth consecutive year of Albuquerque updates on my channel. I've been doing Albuquerque updates since June of 2018. So that's just absolutely crazy to think about. And we've seen so much over the celebrations. 2019, Velar started service. 2020, we had a new apron. 2021 was kind of a hodgepodge, but it all worked out. And then in 2022, we had a nice celebration there as well. So we do have a really fun update in store for you guys today. I really hope you guys are excited for this. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into this six year anniversary update of the first airport update series that became consistent on my channel. What a milestone. Let's go ahead and get started. Pulling into the gate right here, this is Alpha 2. We have the United Airlines Airbus A320. This aircraft is currently coming in from the Houston George Bush Intercontinental International Airport. United's been operating some really good services there with the main line as they have. So I've been very pleased to get to see that. We get the E320 once a day. So that's certainly very nice, along with a couple of regional jets as well. So that's been a really cool touch, and I've been very glad to get to see that. So the United 320s heading out to Houston. Uh, right here, we have the Boutique PC-12. This aircraft's currently making a non-stop flight today in from Carlsbad. Really cool to get to see Boutique going super strong with their Carlsbad service. That's a very nice service there, and I think they're doing a really good job with that. So this aircraft's currently heading out over there to Carlsbad. Starting over here with the Southwest Airlines section, we have some various movements going on right here. So beginning right here with the Southwest Airlines, Boeing 737-700. This aircraft is in the Canyon Blue livery with blended winglets. This aircraft is currently making a non-stop service today on the uh, Saturday only returning service to San Antonio, Texas, which is awesome. So this guy's coming in from San Antonio and now it's going to be heading over to Austin Bertram, just a few miles north of San Antonio. So really cool to get to see those Texas cities getting connected here to the Sunport. And I absolutely love the effort demonstrated here by Southwest Airlines. Right here we have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800. This aircraft's heading over to Baltimore, Washington on his Saturday only service and made a non-stop service earlier today in from Phoenix. Very excited for Orlando, Florida Saturday only service to return for the first time in several years. That'll be returning on July 15th. So expect that in next month's update as we'll have that service to Orlando on Saturday. So that'll be a bunch of fun. Uh, loading up over there in the back corner, we have the Southwest 737 MAX 8. This aircraft is currently coming in from Denver, Colorado today, and now it's going to be heading on over to Houston Hobby. Southwest's connectivity here out of Albuquerque is super strong. They have a really loyal and very uh, awesome uh, passenger network here. So you're going to see those services that other airports in this region wouldn't see. So that's certainly very cool. I mean, it is kind of isolated too, but uh, the passengers are certainly very loyal to Southwest from what I understand. Uh, hanging out right here, we have the South Carolina 737-700 this time. This aircraft is currently loading up with the non-stop service today, heading over to Burbank. And this aircraft came in earlier today on non-stop flight today in from Denver. So certainly nice to get to see both those routes going very strong, and I'll be excited to see where they go from here. Our last Southwest 737-700 is a Panda model release. Let me know if you guys uh, have noticed that uh, these parts right here are very sharp. I was picking up this aircraft and I was like, oh man, those are sharp compared to other manufacturers. Uh, anyways, this aircraft's currently loading up today. This aircraft has a non-stop service today. Coming in from, let's bring it in from Oakland and now it's going to be heading on over to Salt Lake City. So very nice to get to see all the Southwest Ops and they're doing a very good job here at the Sunport. Uh, currently pushed back right here with the Spirit Airlines Airbus A320 Neo. This aircraft is currently making a non-stop service today coming in from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's going to be heading back out there as well. Vegas has been a critical service for various airlines, so I'm glad to see Spirit's doing really well with it. So we absolutely love to see it. Empty gate right here. Miss you, Allegiant. Uh, currently loading up right here, we have the United Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Star Alliance colors. Very nice to get this aircraft back in here. It's been a while, so I'm glad to get it in here. This aircraft's currently making a non-stop service today, coming in from uh, Denver today, and now it's going to be heading on back up there. Uh, this is a beautiful aircraft, United, of course, with their various uh, Star Alliance variants, including the Evo Blue variant, the Normal Continental Globe variant, and all the others. But nevertheless, this aircraft's out to Denver today. That service has been going very well, predominantly just mainline. So they're really cooking on that flight, and hopefully they'll be able to continue that going into the near future. Uh, next aircraft right here, if I can get my seat to move, is this United Airlines Airbus A319 in the Evo blue colors. This aircraft, of course, coming in 
from the one and only San Francisco International Airport. It's been very nice to see San Francisco going really strong this aircraft. Now it's going to be heading over to Chicago O'Hare. Both those have been very successful for United. They've done a really good job there. So I'm eager to see where they can go from here. Uh, the 319 is operating uh, to Chicago now instead of the, sorry about that, uh, operating there instead of the 737-700 from last month. So it's nice to see that the change has been very sufficient there. So like I said, this aircraft's going to make an R non-stop service today, heading on over to, um, excuse me, Chicago after coming in from San Fran. Here's the American Airlines 737-800. This aircraft is heading over to Chicago over here as now we're back to mainline here. So yay for that. So we got our competition right next to each other. Let me know if you think United or America is doing better. I bet they have a decent amount of point to point traffic, but in addition, obviously all that connectivity out of O'Hare. So certainly glad to see the two biggest rivals there out of O'Hare going after it on this service. And hopefully they're both doing good, but American doing very good with all their services as we're about to see with another flight right here. That's going to be the American Airlines Airbus A319 with fence steps. This aircraft is currently coming in from the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport that demonstrates some more inconsistent mainline for American. Although it's not as inconsistent as whatever they have scheduled, they're going to fly it every day. United just what they'll schedule something and just change it last minute. So, uh, but yeah, looking very good here for American with the 319. This is awesome IAE custom. Sorry about the gap right there. I really need to glue it. I never glued it, but nevertheless, it looks very good. I'm certainly very glad to have this custom and it looks really good. So this 319 is heading on over with a wardrobe mount. Well, not really a wardrobe mount function but the color compared to the fuselage is much different anyways though he's heading on over to phoenix here's the jet blue airbus a320 today it's going to be spotlight today this aircraft's currently making a non-stop service day coming in from new york john f kennedy as i try to get this camera perfected uh, this service has been very good for jet blues they've been making some real leeway with it i think it's been performing much better than what it was so that's certainly nice to see i would love to see some additional services from them but nevertheless them having new york is a huge um compliment here as there's no other service to new york sorry about the phone call everybody but nevertheless jetblue has been doing super well here with their services so i'm excited to see where they go from here i'm definitely rooting them on so looking very good and here's alaska special today the specials uh will continue so get ready for more uh, this alaska airlines boeing 737 800 is in the star wars livery this aircraft's currently coming in from seattle tacoma and now it's going to be heading back out there seattle's a daily 737 800 service so i'm certainly glad to get to see how well they've been doing with that and i'm going to look forward to hopefully more service there soon maybe delta could add it at some point we'll see but alaska is definitely holding it strong right now to say the least speaking of delta i'm just going to go ahead and show you the whole frame so yes the 737s have fully invaded the albuquerque sunport international airport for delta you previously saw here that we only had uh two mainline flights well now there's three because we have a very excited movement that i was not expecting but it was a little trick by delta a little sneaky trick so let's go ahead and get started this Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900 will start off our 737 invasion. Uh, this aircraft is back after a brief appearance in April on the Atlanta service. Certainly very glad to see this after its brief appearance in April. Like I said, it's three daily 737-900s again. And I'll go over this again as I did an April update for anybody that hasn't, I uh, didn't get to check out that update. Uh, Delta used to fly the 737-900 to Albuquerque all the time from Atlanta. It was a three daily service for, uh, prior to the pandemic. And ever since the pandemic, they shifted it over to the A320 and A321, uh, more, more so as of late. And now it's been back on the 737-900 a little bit. So certainly nice to get to see the variety there. 737-900 is a very capable plane. So I think it's a really nice fit for the route. I believe the route's about three hours or so. So they're definitely picking the right airplanes. I'm glad they're not flying regional jets or something like that here. I think back in the day they actually did 75s quite a bit which was pretty nice so maybe just maybe they'll do that at some point here i think it would fit the build really well on the overnight or something perhaps but nevertheless the 737 900 is heading back on over to atlanta our next change is going to be another Delta 737. This is going to be an 800 variant. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the first time the 800 has been here in a very, very long time. It's been at least, it probably since when I started making airport updates, to be quite honest. It's been a very, very long time. So I'm definitely looking very forward to getting everything figured out with uh, why they decided to change and everything. But nevertheless, that's certainly very cool that they did. Nevertheless, the Delta 737 800 is currently making the nonstop service today in from Salt Lake City, Utah. So that's certainly very nice to get to see Delta doing the SLC service. I think that it's really nice to see that they're getting some variety there with the main line uh, fitting the build. It's 737-800, has a few less seats than 321, so maybe that was the reason. I'm not completely sure there, but it's certainly very nice to get to see uh, the service going very strong. We also have our 175 still operating here too, so very nice moves by Delta here. But the crazy part is, if you thought that was it, we have more from Delta. So Delta, thank you for making the six-year anniversary awesome. As we do have a returning service, yes sir. Right here we have the Delta Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Absolutely beautiful Sky Team livery. This aircraft is currently making the non-stop service today. Coming in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, which is back on a daily 737-800, which is awesome. So 
If you remember from 2022, Delta did the service for a couple months on the 320 a couple times a week. I think it was three or four times a week. Now we're getting a daily 737-800. This aircraft is coming in. Sorry about the camera. I hate that it does that. This aircraft is coming in at 8 p.m., which is a really cool time, honestly. I think that's really good. I'm not sure if it overnights or not. I did not get a chance to check that, but really, really excited that the uh, 737-800 is now back here at Albuquerque coming in from Minneapolis, St. Paul. I think this is going to be a very good service here. It's a monopoly for Delta, so certainly they're very confident in it if they're not sitting at 175 or something. So 737-800 definitely has several seats. So Delta, really awesome moves right here. The 737 corner is looking very nice here for our six-year anniversary. So thank you, Delta, for kind of being the sponsor here of the six year anniversary here at some point, but very awesome. Get to see this right here. The Delta 737 is a great plane and we get all the variants here at Albuquerque. Now this is to my knowledge, the most 737-800s that I've ever been here. There's always been a time where either Delta was flying something else on Atlanta, Delta was not doing mainline SLC or Delta wasn't flying MSP on a Boeing plane. So to see all three of them here right now is really impressive. And this might be the only time we ever see this. We'll have to see what the uh, summer provides and what the next uh, sequence of events is for the routes. But nevertheless, this is very cool at the very least to at least have it here for one month. But I have a good feeling that we're gonna be seeing some more variety here. So stay tuned on the mainline train, but Delta all crazy with all these mainline planes. This is very abnormal for them. So love the effort. Nice job, Delta. Excited to see where they go from here. Looking forward to seeing MSP's progression as well as I think that airport's really good even with the I wouldn't say overlap connectivity is the right word between Atlanta especially but also a little bit SLC there's still quite a bit of point to point demand so really really good job look at all these beautiful 737s and I'm absolutely loving the effort here we have two Learjet 75s. The one on your right is making a turnaround today in from Destin, Fort Juan Beach. So that's certainly very nice. And the one on your left is currently coming in today from Flagstaff. And now it's going to be heading on over to um, Oakland. So very nice. This Prime Air Boeing 737-800 freighter is currently making a non-stop flight in from Cincinnati as our flagship, of course. Absolutely love this service. It's been looking really good. So I'm excited to see where they can go from here on that. So that's looking absolutely awesome. The UPS Airbus A300 freighter is currently making a non-stop service today. This aircraft is coming in from... Uh, El Paso, now I now over to Dallas, excuse me. Absolutely love these routes. Uh, they've been doing really good here for UPS. So really big operation out of Dallas too. It's really impressive when you really think about it. Uh, this 767 for UPS, ironically, is heading over to Louisville today. Uh, gonna be heading, uh, came in from Ontario earlier. So that's certainly very nice to get to see the cargo variety. Currently getting uh, unloaded and we'll be heading back over there here in a little bit. And then lastly, for the cargo, we have the FedEx Express Boeing 767-300 freighter. This aircraft just arrived in from Memphis, Tennessee, and now it's going to be heading back on over there here in a little bit. So overall, a bunch of really good routes here, and the cargo carriers are certainly holding their own here at the Sunport. Here's the American Eagle Embraer Ear G-175 heading out to Austin Birch from International Airport. The two daily services have been proving uh, critical here, so that's certainly been nice to see. And I'll look forward to seeing where this route goes from here in the future, so very nice. The Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800 is currently making a non-stop service out to Portland today. This is five weekly uh, 737-800s, which is pretty interesting to see considering the fact that this uh, has been daily in the past on mainline. So not sure if it's just um, logistics or what the deal is, but it's random because it's like Sunday through Thursday. And then I think Friday and Saturdays are the days they're taking off. So certainly very interesting there, but nevertheless, I'm glad to have the route and glad to see it. it's been more consistent than what it was previously. So that's certainly very nice, especially on mainline. So you can pretty much call it daily at this point, just like Southwest's uh, experiments, if you will. And this American Airlines Boeing 737-800 is in the Chrome Heritage livery to round out our specials today. So certainly glad to get a bunch of specials in here today. This aircraft is currently coming in from the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport and is going to be heading back out there. Just a bunch of 737s. I would love to see some 321s getting back in the lineup, but we will see. But I'm not complaining. 737 is a beautiful plane, as you can see right here in the Chrome American Airlines livery. And they're doing a really good job with that. So beautiful right there. And lastly, uh, currently taxiing on the runway 08, we have the Delta Connection Ember Ear G-175. Uh, well, the 170 filling in for the SkyWest 175. This aircraft's currently making the non-stop service day coming in from um, Los Angeles, and now it's going to be heading back out there. That service has been going really well, three daily. Can't complain with it, and we've been absolutely loving to see it. And I'm sorry I got, I got too far into the Delta mainline. I did forget the American 175 over here heading over to Los Angeles for SkyWest. Nothing too drastic with that. It's also three daily, so some nice competition there. But yeah, Delta was more important, as you can see. So that's why they took the cake there. But nevertheless, that will do for today's Albuquerque update. Six years, man. That's absolutely crazy. Can't believe that's been that long, but it's been super fun to uh, stay with the flow here at Albuquerque. We've really made some real lead way. Before we know it, we're going to be to 10 years of this airport, which is crazy. But six is already crazy enough. So, or five. It's five. 
my bad guys, I'm sorry. We are five years, not six. Feels like five, but, or sorry, it feels like two, but it's actually been five, sorry. I don't know where I got six from. It's gonna be the six year anniversary of my uh, channel this year. That's where I was getting confused. So sorry about that. I'll put like 15 inserts or whatever, but nevertheless, it's the fifth year anniversary here for the Albuquerque Sunport International Airport updates, which is just crazy to think about, but we're halfway to 10. It will be here and I'm looking very forward to it. So yeah, it's just been so fun to run this airport and with all the changes, even though it's a perfect size, honestly, I mean, it's not boring, but it's also not too much to handle. So I think it's a really good size and it does a really good job here to fulfill those purposes. So I hope that you all have enjoyed it. I definitely would like to use this L-shaped table back here for other projects as well. Whatever that may be, I've used it in the past for uh, like displays. I've done reviews back here in different uh, items. And the good news is this uh, wood actually can come off. So I could easily do that. All I need to do is just put all the wood down there, take the accessories off, and then it's pretty much ready for anything. The original Albuquerque paper is still actually down there, believe it or not. I never did anything with it. It just doesn't look very good. So that's why I replaced it. But uh, yeah, that's actually still all down there. And you actually see snow remains from when I've done snow in the past. I wanted to do it this year, but I couldn't find any uh, flake snow I had. So I had to make um, no snow update and they didn't have much snow this year anyway. So it kind of worked out, but Anyways, really awesome update. Happy five years, Albuquerque. It's been really fun. Another five and many more to go. I'm looking very forward to the future and where we're going to progress from here. It's very exciting and I'm stoked for what's to come here at the Albuquerque Sunport International Airport. Let me know if you have any questions, but the airport's moving in the right direction and I'm excited for what's to come here in the future. But I hope everybody's having a great summer so far. Just getting kicked off. So absolutely awesome. And I'm really excited to see what's to come in the future. And I hope you all are, are as well. Excuse me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Jadre aviation one thank you guys so much for watching take it easy everybody stay safe trust the process do you love and love what you do my name is red Dirt of aviation one thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon as red Dirt of aviation is signing off